welcome to the video. This is a bit of information for you to assist you in your fat loss journey and get you started. To be losing fat from your body, you need to be in a calorie deficit. So that means that you're eating less food than you're burning every day. A calorie is a unit of energy. When we consume something, whether it be a drink or food, we are putting in a unit of energy, so a calorie, and we burn energy. To be in a deficit, you need to be eating less food than what you burn. To be in maintenance, you need to be eating the same amount of energy that you burn. And to be in a surplus, so to gain weight or to gain muscle, you need to be eating more calories than you burn. How do we calculate how much energy we're actually burning is the question. You have your BMR, which is how much energy you would burn just to survive if you were laying in bed doing nothing all day. Basically, it's how much energy you would burn to function in general. Now, your TDEE is your total daily energy expenditure. That is how much you burn on top of keeping your body alive and then all the extra activities in between. So work and training and going to the supermarket. This is based on the Harris Benedict formula. Feel free to screenshot it, but please do remember that it's not accurate for everybody. It really is just a guideline for you and a tool to use to establish where you're at roughly. If you're finding that you're not losing fat, you'll need to look at decreasing your uh, calorie deficit a little bit more. It's important not to decrease your calories all in one hit. You want to do it over a period of time as your body will physiologically adapt to the dieting. It's going to try and um, reduce the amount of energy that you burn through fidgeting and all those little other things. So manage your input. Slowly make your deficit bigger over time depending on your dieting um, period. And then your output, increase steps, aim to get to the gym more, increase intensity at the gym, um, and do higher energy um, activities outside of the gym as well, like bowling or um, playing golf and things like that. Also note that your calories may not be the same as others. Calorie intake is completely individual and you need to find what works for you. I recommend trying not to cut out anything too much, keep protein high, and track, weigh, and measure your food to make sure that you actually are in a calorie deficit. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's useful for you to get you started on your fat loss journey. If you do have any questions, please feel free to shoot the team a message and we'll be happy to answer. Remember, it can be complex, but it can be done.